Hey everybody, Tom here to talk about Disney Animated, a cooperative game by Prospero Hall, part of Funko Games. Um, this is a fairly new board game. Uh, ages 10 and up, two to four players, 20 minutes per player, it says on the box. And we're going to open this thing up uh, because I was asked to do this, I guess, because I, I do love Disney animation, especially hand-drawn. And the five movies currently featured in this are all hand-drawn. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it seems pretty cool. It's a Disney 100 related product. And um, I don't know, based on the box alone, I'm, I'm pretty jazzed about it. So we're going to open this thing up. Let's do it. Here we go. Um, Prospero Hall, the only reason I know them is uh, probably my favorite board game of all time, Jaws, um, which came out a couple years ago. I love that game. It is fantastic. That's the other reason I'm excited about this. Not that I get to play this today, but um, the attention to detail just in, you know me, you know how I make a living. Um, I love my merchandise. I love when it is thoughtful and shows a lot of care from the creators, right? Um, and I know, given the Jaws game, that that's what I'm going to get with Prospero Hall, right? And that's how I feel about my Disney parks too, right? If you guys watch our park content, you know that. I like when there's a sincerity and a level of care, and I think we're going to get that with Disney Animated. Whereas the front says, Walt Disney Animation Studios Animated. First thing we have to do is open the box. The tape was sticking a little bit. That's why I was having some trouble. Oh, look at that. It's the studio in Burbank. How cute. That's great. And the instructions. A fitting game for 100 years of Disney animation. Right? 100, well, I should say 100 years of the Disney company. But a company that started with animation. Before there was theme parks, before there was live action, before there was anything else, there was animation. See our components. It's Mickey. I'm not going to get too much into the play by play of this. We're just doing an unboxing. Hopefully, if this does well, we will actually sit and record us playing this game. Um, but I can see already these action tiles. I see the multi plane camera gets referenced here under background. Ink and paint, a very important department, especially important to Walt Disney. He met his wife who worked in the ink and paint department, right? Pretty important to the history of the Disney company. I love the colors. They're very invocative of the time period of the early years of the studio, right? There's a little bit of 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s. Um, art style and coloring definitely coming through here. Um, the other thing I like is they, they've picked a movie, a hand-run movie from every decade um, for this first volume. Um, so from the 30s, we have Snow White. From the 40s, very early, not long after Snow White, we have Fantasia. Uh, then for the 50s, we have, here we go. For the 50s, we have Alice in Wonderland. For the 60s, we have 101 Dalmatians. And then, I can't imagine why we've skipped the 70s and 80s, but we have, um, and we've landed in the 90s with Aladdin. Uh, yeah, so this is, oh, uh, look at this. How do you win over Disney fans? Just, just put a Walt quote. We're suckers for it, it doesn't matter. Put on a construction wall, a toilet, whatever. It's gonna work. Whatever we accomplish belongs to our entire group, a tribute to our combined effort. Walt Disney. That's on our board here. So this is the, what do they call this, a studio board? I forget what this is called. I don't know. But this is going to be important. But yeah, you, you see this older art style. I would say it's, it's not so much 60s. It's probably like... It's probably like 30s and 40s more than anything. Maybe, I guess 50s too, um, as far as this art style. Here are the cards. Magic, background, sound, ink and paint, and animation. These are action tiles. Oh, and here are, here are the individual films. So here's Alice. Um, this is very Mary Blair, what's going on on the side, like her concept art for the film. Um, I've been told it's okay to pop these out because they're going to start the game like that. Anyway, oh yeah, they're, we're in black and white, right? 
Oh, I see there's some action tiles under some of these. Indicated, yeah. So, yep, it's a background from Alice in Wonderland, and you're going to have to create the scene, essentially, right? We got more of these. We have Fantasia. Look at this. Based on the original, this is the original poster for Fantasia, this logo. Um, not a Fantasia logo you see super often on merchandise of any kind. Um, the one that was used for the later re-releases is usually what you see more of, but... Um, this is a very famous background because it's a Sorcerer's Apprentice, Mickey Mouse. Um, and some, again, uh, interesting art style. They're, they're all a little Mary Blairish. these uh, side panels. It's on the back. Of, oh, look at that. And you get the full title card art, essentially. Right? Yeah, that's great. Same thing with 101 Dalmatians, right? That's not the logo you often see on everything. That's, that's definitely what it looked like on the poster. Rella and Pongo and Perdita and the puppies. Now Aladdin, you know, once you get into the 90s, then obviously what they're using on the posters and stuff was the modern era is usually what all the merchandise, what everything um, followed, right? So that, that logo is pretty much what you've seen on every Aladdin thing in your entire life. It's interesting to see Aladdin interpreted in what is very much a, an older Disney art style. I like that. I would be intrigued if they make later volumes to see other modern movies interpreted in that way. I like that. And of course, the one that started it all for feature animation, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Okay. We have, oh, Calamity cards. Uh-oh, those can't be good. Got the there's the poison apple from Snow White. Oh, the spooky trees. I love the spooky trees. They're in some of the Snow White rides around the world. I love them. I miss the ones here in Florida. The Huntsman. Oh, we got Yen Sid, the sorcerer. More Fantasia, Zeus. Hyacinth Hippo, a personal favorite. Um, the demons, ghosts from Night on Bald Mountain, whatever you want to call them. Here's the Queen of Hearts from Alice. Pocket Watch from the White Rabbit, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, The Cards, Horace and Jasper, Cruella's Car, it's 101 Dalmatians, check. They're watching the Canine Crunchies ad in 101 Dalmatians, Iago, The Guards. These are just numbers. Again, that, that art style carries through, though, that vintage style 30s, 40s. I'm, I'm going to say 30s, 40s, I think. I don't know if the game's any good, but I'm in love with the art style. All right, so these are... Grit, focus, teamwork, inspiration, things you can do on your turn. Oh, see, so these are the, uh, yeah, so they, these are animation cards. These are all the things you need to make a Disney animated film, according to the box. Heart, inspiration, grit, teamwork, etc. In this box. Nope, that's just packaging. Oh, look at these tokens. Oh, man. These are great. These kind of look like vintage wood Disney toys a little bit. I'm on board with these. Try not to lose half of them. Um, there's dog, you see there's dog bones. Get the genie. There's genie. Cheshire Cat, music notes for Fantasia and Stars, The Bones. I think all seven dwarves. Yeah, all seven dwarves. How cute. Film reel. These are great. They really went for the vintage thing. They really dug their heels in on that. I like it. Uh, 
Oh, these are going to be these animation cell cards. I think these are super cool. For those of you who are younger in the audience who maybe don't know how hand-drawn animation worked, um, on celluloid, these transparent panels that were then hand-painted. And so that's what this is a reference to. It, it breaks my heart that I even have to explain that. I wish Disney would get back into some hand-drawn animation. I'm not saying all the feature animated movies have to be hand-drawn, but one, at, one out of every four or five, maybe, guys, you can, come on, give me a hand here. Well, that's interesting. These kind of, you, you can see that, right? That shadow? Yeah, I don't know if you can clean that, and that'll, it's just a staining thing. They just need to be cleaned, I think. Yeah, but you can see other card shadows in the, on these. I think they just need a cleaning out of the package. These are great. I like these. Jasmine and Aladdin, Alice, March Hare, Mad Hatter, the brooms, the enchanted brooms. There's Mickey as the sorcerer. Oh, all the forest animals from Snow White got a card. They make up the scene. So the idea is you're, you're building the scene on these big cardboard pieces and you're, you're trying to make the movie. That's, that's the way the box explained it. You're trying to complete the film. Um, and I'm gonna talk about my favorite weird part of that in a moment. Maybe, maybe it's this pack is what's gonna, oh, there's a lot in this pack. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, you're, the villains are trying to stop you from making a movie. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but villains aren't actually involved in the making of an animated movie. Um, but you know who often is in the Hollywood world? Executives. Either way, the villains are trying to stop you from making the movie, which is weird because the villains are in the movie and only exist if the movie is made. So, I don't know. Don't ask me. Either way, these are cool cards. Got the Queen of Hearts. And they're they're going to try and stop you from making the film. Cruella de Vil, Chernabog, the Queen, and Jafar. Oh, look at these. It's a little box. Look at these little card boxes. Oh, my God. And they look like old books. I mean, obviously, a number of Disney animated films, hand-drawn especially, based on fairy tales, right? So that looks like the spine of a book, kind of, right? I don't know if that's what's supposed to be or not. There's like a wood finish on No, it is for sure, because there's the bookmark. Yeah, absolutely. 101 Dalmatians. Look at these. These are great. There's just a studio one. Snow White, Aladdin, Fantasia, oh, the Fantasia one, my favorite. Fun story about me with Fantasia, the first movie I was taken to see in a movie theater was Fantasia. I was very young, it was a re-release. Probably I would assume the 1990 re-release, which was for the anniversary. Um, and my mother and my grandmother tried to get me to leave halfway through the movie. And I cried and said no, and I forced them to stay through all of Fantasia, much to their chagrin. And from that point on, my mother should have known what my life would revolve around. Um, we see we have the inks, the various colors, the magic. Um, off screen, there we go. Coffee, coffee, very important to making an animated film. I'm sure any animator would tell you that. It's probably true. The villain gets placed on here. This is Alice. Fantasia. Ah, we got Ben, my favorites, Ben Alligator and Hyacinth Hippo. Um, kind of bought myself for my birthday. That Super 7 website has this big, giant figurine of Ben Alligator. He's one of my favorites, so I had to buy it. Gift to me. Oh, Sergeant Tibbs. There he is. If you've watched our Lorcana card openings, you know how much I love Sergeant Tibbs. Or Manjo and Dalmatians. Abu. Some, some of the woodland creatures. They're in like little golden book style almost though. On that one for Snow White. 
All right, so I'll give you a little idea what the game will look like when you actually set it up and when you play it. Um, so the idea is, again, you're trying to make the movie, so you're going to build, you know, through various actions, you're going to build this background. Don't worry, folks, the background, the gray background matches these, so you won't have that hard a time putting this together. Some people might be daunted by a puzzle being involved, but... There you go. So you got to, the first thing you have to do is build the background and then you got to paint the characters, right? Because they're, well, they're trying to get this to all fit in here. <laughs> there we go. Then put that one in. There we go. There we go. There it is. And then you see here we could use the paint. You're going to get the paints and you have to get green and purple to put the Mad Hatter in the scene, right? You're going to get red and yellow for the March Hare. Alice needs blue and white, obviously. That's the color of her dress. Build the scene. You got to make the movie all before the deadline, which usually every turn will move one, but sometimes you'll do, you know, not so great. Your calamity cards will cost you. You got to finish your movie before the deadline. That's that's the key. The villain's going to try to stop you. Not a Disney executive. Definitely just a villain. Uh, and yeah, um, I just love the 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 vibe, right? The 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 art style, leaning into the 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s. It's nice. It, it separates the game from a lot of other games. This is very cute, and I think if you're a lifelong fan of Disney animation, especially if one of these five movies is your favorite. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited to try this game. I want to try this. This looks cute. Um, but yeah. This is available now. By the way, we're going to show you an affiliate link right now. You can pick up the game right now and also help support WWNT and WWNT Play. Everything we're doing here. Um, if you guys like this video, if we get enough comments and, and feedback, um, I think we'll end up playing this game for you guys right here on the channel. If you guys are still on the fence about buying it. But I will tell you, like, again, as a lifelong fan of Disney... The art style alone is pretty darn cool, and I, I assume it's going to be a lot of fun since it's Prospero Hall. So there you go. Again, this is uh, Walt Disney Feature Animation. I'm going to say Walt Disney Animation Studios Animated, a cooperative game by Prospero Hall is what it says on the box. Again, very simple link down there for you to pick it up if you'd like. Uh, probably makes a great Christmas gift. We're getting close. So uh, there you go. And if it's successful, I'm sure they'll make more. But It says Volume 1. We'd assume there'd be more volume, so maybe everyone's favorite movie, uh, favorite animated Disney movie, they'll get to eventually. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and for content from us on social media, please follow at WDWNT Play. You can do that on both Instagram and TikTok. We have board games, card games, Disney Larkana, all sorts of great stuff uh, coming from our latest brand, WWNT Play, which is hosted right here on the WWNT TV channel. Thank you for watching, and let's uh, go get animated. Get it, because never mind.